people think I'm obsessed with this. And I'm okay with it. We're back at it. Explanation about the needle. So, so far. And seeing in the book in two types. This is hooked. There's another type I'm seeing in this book. You see, like here. So far, looking through the shops, this is so to call German way of wig ventilating needle. I can't recall this where it's coming from. I suppose that one is a little bit. A bit easier because the slide is a bit longer because and yet again this one it has the curl a bit harsher you'll find it and understand the difference when we literally start ventilating and before you order maybe um, and before you buy what is the difference these ones they are made out of wood the base they are very lightweight and uh, these little numbers on top of it it just represents how many pieces of hair can the needle take From my experience so far with these, if the hair is fucked, if it's over bleached and bad quality, it's gonna slide out and uh, you have to get a knot on it, on them. A bit harder to work with for the hand. At first I liked it, but when I started to work with the other type of needle, then I understood that I don't fancy them and my son was playing with them, trying to draw something on the floor, so I don't know how good they are at the moment and I don't know how good is the floss. This is a perfect investment. They come very cheap. I bought them on AliExpress together with closures. I can list exactly the buyer where I bought it from. I am very satisfied because these were the first bad boys I started to try with. These were actually the first ones I found in my suitcase that uh, they are okay. The other one, of course I had bought a long, long, long time ago, is this one. Still the same uh, basic, right? But the, it's the the thing that you don't have to <laughs> too many of these uh, nozzles or whatever, what is it called? You can just basically change the, the top. So it came with one to two, two to three, three to four pieces, uh, like the hook in the back. And they all were marked. So keep them together. The one thing you don't do, you don't drop it on the floor when you are working. This is what I did. and. Basically, uh, I think I need to buy new needles. I'm still, I'm like kind of, I don't give up when I do it. The construction of this is it basically opens and then with the pressure, when you close it down, it creates a pressure that the needle is holding in. It's kind of easy and I do like it, the, the weight feel in the, you know, like when you write something back in school or now, if you use a pen, pen if it doesn't lay good in your hand, your handwriting changes so i suppose for me that is exactly the same thing with ventilating with this one i still do a good job but it is very lightweight and my hair ventilating writing doesn't look as good as it was when i did with this and also this one with the help of this it's much easier to pick out the hair i don't know i just noticed that these also come thicker and thinner i have a thinner one i've seen a bit thicker ones you're gonna you can find them in those stores if you found in a shop and you think it's good and i'm not saying i bought it there you you go and buy it like i said like i've said a million times there's no wrong way if it works for you it's 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 not a work, wrong way right and if you have a friend who can even like make them why not this is i love this thing in the book basically represents how you have to create the hair fall here naturally humans have thicker hair hairline is finer so to you can learn to do it all in with one needle hairline is definitely one hair at the time top parting area as well and there are different directions how you kind of have to create the hair so it's easier to part if you want to make the wig let's say a deeper parting that's going to be like fast in that spot you're going to learn how to make that parting to be fast in that spot and that's how it's gonna be and you're gonna work it around so it lays in there are ways you know like there's a classic way how how they do it and like even pay attention to that here like the hair like it's made to fall to the front and the back goes back so it's for styling purposes as well the only downside is I don't have a lot of explanation about the patterns of uh, of uh, ventilating and stuff like that. Follow me and don't forget next episode, next part. Uh, I am going to go in deeper with the with the ventilating. 
like what is the notes and this and that i don't also find an information in this book that it does have more information like uh what knot is for what i know the double knot is like at the back where is one material so it doesn't actually uh, like the hair hold there and usually all the wigs i have the natural ones they're like with single knots and uh yeah, this preference, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a bit more research to understand it. If you have more knowledge, let me know. And then yeah, let's do next time the ventilating. Let's learn the knotting. So you have uh, something to practice on. Check my previous video with the tools you will need. Uh, there is the online shop I really like from this book as well. If you like AliExpress, go for it. I found this one product that actually, it is cheaper to buy from England than from China. Yeah, and and. And about this one, I was thinking it could be a possibility to, to make it myself. I'm going to have a video as well how to make the cradle. So I just need to find the right measurements. I have found something, but I'm going to do a little bit bigger research on that. Like, follow, ask questions, give me tips. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Ciao.